David Menzies for Rebel News here in Pickering, Ontario. And one of the reasons I'm here, folks, tonight is to cover the City of Pickering Council meeting. And that is not a sure thing, i.e. that I or other media members will be allowed to cover it. And that is the crux of the matter in terms of what brings me to Pickering. Uh, I'm with Rick Troyan. He is a, uh, well, a civil rights activist. And uh, he has found out the hard way that you don't get on the wrong side of council. Because what's going on right now, folks, it's almost unbelievable. You have to wonder when you go to Pickering City Hall, are you still in the Dominion of Canada or the People's Republic of North Korea? Here are some things they have recently implemented. Delegations have had their time cut from 10 minutes to five minutes. There is no longer a Q&A period, media outlets have to be approved by city council to cover meetings. There are allegations that the live feed that broadcasts the meetings gets manipulated whenever council doesn't want something to be publicly disseminated. And get this, there is a hurt feelings law here at Pickering, which is to say if you say something about a counselor or post something hurtful, air quotes, online, by law pays a visit to your house and gives you a trespassing ticket. And Rick, this is where you come into play. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, actually received the trespass ticket. Um, luckily, it expired on April the 30th. Otherwise, and by the way, I do see a Durham Regional Police Cruiser over there. Otherwise, you'd be under arrest just for setting foot on City of Pickering property. Rick, what is going on here? I don't know. I started this in January of last year, 2023. This was the first place I ever decided to cut my teeth doing independent journalism. I tried the library, I went in, and immediately had three officers come trespass me from the library. <laughs> yeah, and threatened to arrest me. I was standing at the door holding a camera, just saying, I just wanna see the, there's a room upstairs, a historical room on the second floor, a genealogy room, they call it. What, what law have I, uh, have I broken? I'm not going to get into it with you. Well, why not? You're here uh, under right now, your official capacity, apparently. No, no. He's asked for leave. So right now you're engaging in something that they was against their, their policies. We've asked you to leave. These officers have asked you to leave. So technically, now you're trespassing. Okay. Well, okay. So if you want to videotape, by all means, are you to the park. If I don't the, leave, are you going to arrest me? We're trespassing, yes. You're going to arrest me? Yes. And then I decided to fight my case with City Council. Uh, so that would have been February, March, and April. And as I was talking to city council, things were getting more and more hostile at the meetings, more and more people were showing up. And I posted something that the city council didn't like. We've seen so many people complain about censorship, curtailing of free speech. Um, what is your major point of contention uh, with this council, and I should add to the censuring of uh, Councillor Lisa Robinson. Susan, what what is the one thing that concerns you most about the direction of Pickering City Council? The direction of all councils are they have uh, one narrative and one narrative only, and we are being ignored as citizens who pay our taxes, who my parents immigrated here too. So all this diversity, inclusion. Um, equality only applies when we agree with them, but we're not allowed to have our say. We're not allowed to have a voice, or this is what happens, we get shut down. It's, we've gone into some sort of clown world in the last few years, where it's it's absolutely clear that we're, we're going through reverse discrimination and it's terrible. We have so many problems in Canada, and DEI is one of them. It's it's Marxist, if you, if you look it up, it's Marxist in its roots. It's an ideology that can never be achieved. We should be striving for equality of opportunity, and yes. that's it. But but not, we can't guarantee outcomes. What are they trying to do here exactly? Well, it's, um, the way I understand it, the councillors, city councillors are just inside Pickering. Regional councillors, they are able to affect what we do in 
Oshawa or Ajax or Whitby, wherever else. Because there's a bigger group, it's the, there's 29 regional councillors in the region of Durham. Right. And they can do things, make decisions that will affect all of the region and therefore me, even though I'm not here from Pickering. So, but not only that, in recent meetings, I, I alluded to them in my speech, they, they made it difficult for even the Pickering residents to get their point across. What is the unspoken strategy of Pickering City Council to curtail free speech like they're doing? I mean, what is driving this? Uh, well, they've all sold us out to ICLEI, to the UN agenda. Uh, they've been paid off, obviously, because they're not listening to the people. Um, they're not listening to Council Lisa Robinson, who's been elected by the people, for the people. And her voice is being shut down. That's why I'm here today. Um, to support her and this is wrong and him being able to name call and shut her down and shut other people down and only fuel their agendas it's got to stop. Shin, you have the media on board censoring uh, voices of reason uh, and common sense this is what you get people are being programmed to believe these false ideologies they're believing that they are helpful when in fact the evidence is overwhelming of harm. Uh, Covid is one uh, we have the whole climate uh, all of those policies that's all in other ideology that can't be achieved like net zero COVID is as impossible to achieve as net zero carbon and nor would you want to and yet people are pushing these and we see the harm at the local level which is why I'm here again uh, presenting to council. It's six against one. Okay. It's there's six people in there including the mayor that want to censor everybody make sure that they do not ever speak again and then there is there's the one who just wants us to have our rights be able to speak tonight they're actually trying to refuse delegations from anybody outside of the city of pickering i think they're being pushed to do that by an outside influence such as the world economic forum and the united nations and gavi other uh, private interests mm. so this happened because of a public private partnership with all the mayors and this is happening everywhere in the world not just in Canada and yet this mayor seems to be very concerned about so-called inappropriate comments right. um, is this maybe an example of hypocrisy huge hypocrisy and also male chauvinist pig misogyny you want to call us names if we don't agree with you like racist homophobe xenophobe we get labeled everything if we don't agree with counselors or government we get labeled things that we are not my parents were immigrants they immigrated here but they came through the front door through the red tape and became canadian citizens proudly not through the back door you can't break into a country and become family overnight they paid taxes we pay for this mass immigration this these What's happening right now is just crazy and everybody should be concerned. It almost sounds pre preposterous what you said, but it's true. Bylaws about free speech. I mean, it's as though that they, um, this council, can't wait for Bill C-63 to become law. Oh yeah, and you know, these are Marxist, communist people working for we the people. Instead of having, we need new elections and new officials uh, in charge of, I think all across Canada, <laughs> can't wait. When I was a working man driving to and from work every day in a 13 hour day, uh, I was uh, the same way. I was an apostate and I wasn't interested and I regret that I wasn't more interested back then, but. I understand it. You know, a lot of people have their own thing to do. They have their families to raise and everything. So now that I'm retired, I can do this. Interesting. Whereas other younger couples, well, they'd like to possibly. And there are many that are just totally don't, don't realize what's going on. Folks, I know you love it when Rebel News tells you the other side of the story, but unlike uh, Justin Trudeau's trained seals in the media party, we don't accept a nickel's worth of government funding, nor would we accept it if offered. We depend on you. So can you do me a favor? Can you go to rebelfieldreports.com? That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you can kindly make a donation, we will continue to bring you the other side of the story.